this is those people out there they're talking about Fifty Shades of Grey once the movie was done and gone. They said, "Well, good riddance." I'm glad that shit is over with. Now let's move on with our life. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Somebody's so mad, they throwing shit over there. <laughs> Megan, what the hell are you doing? She dropped her mirror. <laughs> you, see, that's how women respond to Fifty Shades of Grey. You just mentioned, like, oh shit, <laughs> Dorian. <laughs> yeah, we, we know it's going to be there on the first day. <laughs> are these seats scotch guard? <laughs> <laughs> women just slipping off those seats. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but, but you, you're not into the gray there? Uh, uh, Danielle? I mean, it was kind of a dumb movie, but I get the concept and it turns me on a little bit. We, I know women love this <laughs> shit. We, I don't, you, you went up in my esteem, by the way, yeah. by saying that. I'm just honest. She went up. Uh, she, you went lower in mine. I think it's hot and I like it. Because I myself. She said I, it was dumb. Oh, but she said, but I fucks with it. I said it turns me on a little bit. That oh, was see, my. That's what you got me right there because <laughs> I don't get it. I'm telling y'all right now, I don't get this shit. I don't understand. Looking at this trailer, look, the first one. I thought it was dumb, but you know I could kind of understand why women were a little bit turned on by it. Now the shit's just got ridiculous. At least looking at this trailer right here, we have the return of Christian Grey and the chick, whatever her fucking name is, and, oh, yeah. uh, what and is her name? I don't Dakota. Uh, something. No, that's the actress. It starts the P. I mean. Oh yeah, dumb chick. Uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> her name is who? Her name is who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's her first name or last name? <laughs> <laughs> Jane Aloysius, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, but man, I look at this right here. There's a. I'm just gonna say there's a whole other pile of crazy piled on top of this shit, right? Martin, if you thought the first one was weird, this one has gone completely fucking nuts. Let's go ahead and take a look at the further adventures of Gray as he gets Fifty Shades darker. Looking so crazy in love, got me looking, got me looking so crazy in love. <laughs> Do you think you're the first woman who's tried to save him? Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> Man, dude, just, somebody just jagging off at the head. Oh, oh, Before oh, Miguel needs his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, to cover crazy in love like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they, they, that's what's selling it, man. You know, they selling all that's this a big shit. thing with these movies. It takes some other pop song and slow it down. It was a, yeah. like the weekend. Was it's the it? weekend when the first one. Yeah. Man, here's the deal. This is why I don't understand how women are into this. Or maybe this is, maybe this is what females like. Maybe this is their version of horror. Because this, this is a fucking horror movie, man. Yeah, mixed with a little, uh, what was that movie? Um, oh, uh, Stanley Kubrick? Yes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking horror film. I'm looking at this, ain't nothing sensual or sexy about this shit. Is that what y'all like? Because I'm looking at this. Well, he, he owns a Bowflex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he owns the only <laughs> one that's not collecting dust yeah. under somebody's bed. You know, he got money. He got that fucking brand name. <laughs> His daddy handed that down to him. That shit was from 1992. <laughs> a a fucking Bowflex. <laughs> you know, this, 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 this is a fucking horror film because he's still doing that weird shit. You know, mm -hmm. st he's still standing across the room. Just staring at people. You know, he can't go up and say hi just like a, a regular person. He still got to do his Michael Myers impression and shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you look, it's, I feel like that I feel like that dude from, from, from what, in Atlanta. Stop being weird, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> stop being fucking weird, man. I don't think it's weird, Corey. I you don't think that's fucking weird? Okay. Yeah, yeah, there, okay, let me ask you this. If there was a guy that was just following you around that you told them you had no interest uh, in, that, who, are you, who are you talking to? I don't think... <laughs> okay. You're right. I wasted a lot of oxygen doing that. I don't follow Listen, people. Listen, a lot of the time... You don't know the whole plot, right? There wasn't very much of a plot the first we story. We saw the movie. But... You don't know if he's following her around in this. Yeah. Look he, at this shit. He totally was the first time. Don't nobody go to a party with somebody and stand on the other side of the room yeah. and stare at them. <laughs> Danielle, don't nobody go to a party, stand in the middle of the room, and focus their attention on one person, mainly their ex. You know, nobody does that shit. The only thing that's missing is a knife in his hand right now. I I'm, just feel like based on experience and a lot of experience, and I tell you guys this because you know I fucking done the legwork, the richer the dude, the crazier and the more yes. like sicker shit that they're into. I'm uh, telling you. You know what? That's the only true thing you said right now because if he wasn't rich, that motherfucker would be in jail. Oh, yeah. She would have had a restraining order on his ass, and he'd be in prison right now. He might own a trout farm, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you about that? Yes, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, she dated some dude with a trout farm. Whatever. Who, who was rich, you know. I should tell you, that's weird right there. He owns a trout farm. Catfish. It was catfish. Yeah, whatever. That's right. He catfished you. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he catfished you. wanted to catfish. He, yeah, he catfished you and then gave the trout. So. He had a jet company, too. Whatever. Oh, whatever. You ain't with him, are you? You know He's why? Still my friend. Because that motherfucker was standing across the room with a fish in his hand looking at you like that. <laughs> While singing crazy in love? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Why, why haven't you called me, Danielle? <laughs> me and the catfish have missed you. <laughs> you know, this is weird right here. And here's, here's the other thing. That teleporting chick. That man, that, that chick right there. <laughs> crazy, crazy attracts crazy. If you look in this shit, yeah, this, this, this fucking chick right here that's teleporting all over the place. Ex He's got, he's got his ex girlfriend. People should have known that this would be the case with him. Crazy attracts crazy. He's got his crazy ex doing that shit of breaking into the house, staring at them while they're asleep. So crazy apparently he's been. Apparently he was fucking Batman. <laughs> or she, or she can't teleport. He, he taught her how to do it. Yeah, exactly. You know she outside the window hanging on from a ledge. <laughs> got there on the fifth floor. Fuck. I should have used my bow flex more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, this is that's what makes this a horror movie. You know, she's the. Uh, you know, people up here, they doing horror movie tropes right here. People just standing in the middle of the room, staring at people while they're asleep. You know, breaking into the house. Uh -huh. Break, break into that house that night. And it's funny because, this, I mean, I would just say maybe that's just a dream or maybe this is a... Hallucination. Maybe, or maybe it's a hallucination. But this chick, no, she's spending... This chick is either unemployed or homeless or both. Because <laughs> she spent all day in this girl's house just staring at her. Do you think you're the first woman who tried to save him? Hey, man, it is Seattle. She could be homeless. <laughs> that's, yeah, exactly. Or maybe he's Mormon. Or maybe she's, uh, or, or maybe she's like that that uh, that annoying roommate, you know. Hey, you got any time pounds I can borrow? Single <laughs> white female. Yeah. Yeah. Shit about that. I know, did, did he not mention that I live here too? <laughs> exactly. Waking up in the middle of the night with a boyfriend. Did you eat the last pop tart? <laughs> you know, some weird shit going on here. Man, this is creepy. This is fucking creepy. Okay, and I can understand like girls out there saying, "All right, Corey, maybe you're right. Maybe it is a hallucination. Maybe it is uh, a dream." And you know what? It's just a harmless chick. But the the trailer's kind of rapey in a way. Did you see that one scene with that dude? Oh, that in, was, the, in the office? In the office. Yeah. Like, like, apparently, like, uh, Christian Gray is doing some Edward and Jacob type shit with another dude. No. You know, they're fighting over some plain Jane chick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and this dude, it, you know, at least that's one thing I say about Christian Gray. He was fucking weird. And he's doing some crazy stuff. But this other dude is, like, just forcing Baby. himself on her. Look at this. Where the fuck you going, bitch? <laughs> you know what I mean? And doing weird shit. Like, I mean, this, like I said, if these weren't rich people. These, these girls would be like He tried to sexually molest me in, in his office Can you believe that? But look at this shit If you tell anyone I'll fucking kill you, you know? We don't even know who he is We don't even know who he is yeah. And that's the thing about it This motherfucker was ugly Didn't have no money She'd be like I'm calling the police right after this But she's like Oh this is so fucking hot You know I don't understand with some, I don't know I don't This is one thing I don't understand with people This is one thing I don't With well, women especially I don't understand these kind of fucking uh, this movie in particular. I was looking at uh, I was looking at all the comments in uh, YouTube today, and it's just nothing but girls like, oh, I can't wait, yep. and actually saying, oh, I'm getting so wet and horny looking at this trailer. I've watched it thirty times you, you already. You say girls, but those are probably middle aged women. Oh, uh, yeah. they're a little bit of both. What do you not understand? Okay, well, wait. Let me ask you this, Daniel. As our resident female at Double okay. Toasted, what do you think about this trailer? I think that this trailer looks a lot better than the first one. I think that it'll be interesting to see what type of backstory they came up mm -hmm. with, with why <clears throat> Christian Grey has such a, a crazy sexual fantasy, you know, past, and what made him be this way. I think they're going to reveal a lot of his past sexual partners, maybe, and a lot of his other like partners, like that guy that you know maybe just stopped her in front of the door. I think it'll be interesting to see why he's chasing this girl. I'm interested in seeing it. I think it's probably going to be a bunch of bullshit just like the last one, but I do see the attraction. It, it is sexy, and it is something different than you see normally. Uh, like on the, things, <laughs> uh, on the list of bullshit that goes with this movie is that his weird sexuality that he has, it's like he spanks the girl three times. Well, that's the one thing I hated about the first movie. It's like you really want him to fuck the shit out of her, and he never really does. No. And you know what? And that's a, you're, I will give you that. This does look a little more interesting just because they introduce new elements in there. You know, mm -hmm. there's new characters that we haven't seen there's before. There's this, yeah, there's there's an antagonist in there somewhere, it seems like two, actually, mm -hmm. if you put it in there. There's a rivalry going on. Even the production looks better in this. Uh, I know that uh, the, they have a different director here. James Foley is the one that directed this. It was a woman that directed the last one, Sam Taylor Johnson, who was Quicksilver's... Uh, oh, his wife. His yeah. wife, yeah. Oh, James Foley's done a lot of stuff. Like what? 
Uh, they, I believe he directed Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Really? Yeah. And you know what? And I'm looking at this. Even I mean, the first movie had it. It, it had a slick look to it, mm-hmm. but it was kind of like it was still kind of sparse. Yeah. And this one seems like it's a uh, you know it's a little more interesting. There a little more. There, there are more areas that are going on. That just it's just not two people just looking at each other and fucking around. You know, it's yeah. like it seems like there's an actual plot going on. I sincerely hope the dynamic isn't that he wants to like be serious with this girl and and you know only with this one female because that is like so totally not believable. Yeah, you know what? And that's the thing about it. I look at this and I want to, but then they got all this weird eyes wide shut going on, secret society shit and and then the other thing is if it just didn't seem so creepy and just ridiculous looking, it just looks silly some of the stuff that goes on here. And it's just and it's just creepy. Eh? Every time I start to get into the trailer, that fucking Halloween music kicks in. Look at this shit. If you, <laughs> if you cut this shit with that music, look at it. Did you put the music on that? No, that's the trailer. Shut up. <laughs> it really changes the dynamic. It changes it? the mood. This shit is scaring you now, isn't it? I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Fifty Shades Darker. Look at this. Now, you look at that and it's kind of weird, isn't it? it yeah. Looks, yeah, exactly. I mean, all that standing around and looking and shit, you, it, that's the first thing that I noticed with this, but a lot of people are so caught up in the, in, the, in the fantasy of being swept up by a rich dude mm-hmm. that they don't look at the creepy side of shit, and that's the whole, the whole thing started out as goddamn Twilight fan fiction anyway. <laughs> I should drop this shit and just write some dumb fucking teenage girl shit myself. I can be a millionaire and just drop all you motherfuckers right now. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> it makes sense. I feel his would be weird. Then he touched her booby. <laughs> <laughs> and she went, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Fill your coffee. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'd be putting myself in there. His name was Chester Tatum. <laughs> her name was Corey Callman. <laughs> Carrie Kale, man. <laughs> he, he took her to an island. <laughs> Fucked the shit out of him. I mean her. <laughs> you know, look, I, I want to get behind this shit. I really do. Because I, I know women have a different sensibility as much as i say you know we all we look we are equal i'd say women have as they, they can accomplish as much as men do i'm not a you know i am a feminist at heart but y'all got some bad taste in movies i'm gonna say you know i'm gonna tell you that much between uh, twilight and this shit right here uh there's just two different sensibilities hey, going man, on it's a valentine's day movie so you're guaranteed to accept at least two tickets per person yeah for sure oh is it coming out in february it's yeah. coming out on valentine's, it's valentine's, valentine's day of day martin they planned this shit for two years, man. That's why I one of the reasons this shit got made is because they said, you know what, the sequel can fall right on Valentine's Day. Let me ask y'all this: if this, if you think if if this makes less than what its budget is, do you think they're actually going to go through with the third one? Yeah. yeah, and I'm gonna tell you something, man. The way I read those YouTube comments today, it's going to make a lot of money. And it'll make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, it'll make a lot of money. And I tell you what, I'm willing to. I'm willing to give this a chance myself. Hey, I, I can't say shit. There's people out there right now. It's like, of course, shut the fuck up. You were the first one to go out there and give Twilight a matinee when you saw it. <laughs> he did. I did. I saw, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now lights out and don't breathe makes sense to you, right? No. Oh, no. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Boy, don't, you throw, don't you throw that blind man in there like that. Don't you, don't you throw that girl from lights out in there like that. Don't you do that. The blind guy in 50 Shades Darker. Hey, 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 man, he went 100 in Shades Darker. So, you know, hey, you know what? I went to go see Twilight. It was a room. For, I didn't. I hadn't even heard of Twilight. When, when, I was with Tony. Tony and I, I told this story before. Tony and I went to go see Twilight. We never heard of it, but we knew we had to see it. Mm. And, we said, and we thought it was going to be like some. We, th- we actually thought it was a horror movie. And we walked into the theater. The, it was full of teenage girls in pajamas. It was like we had just climbed through the window of the world's biggest teenage pajama party. And Tony said, Jackpot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tony dived in like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Tony, no. <laughs> Backstroke, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> and all the girls just looked at us like we just came in to molest all of them. We just got like, we're critics. We're critics. <laughs> <laughs> like, nine, one. Yeah. Yeah. You should have seen the police coming in and shit. They had the tasers out already. <laughs> and we just thought, well, fuck it. All these girls in here, they must like it. It's for them. So I, I said, we said, we both said, okay, Matinee, it, 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 they seem to enjoy it. I don't know. So hey, so hey, you know this might be this might be an awesome movie right here. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it matinee right now. <laughs> uh, Valentine's Day is coming out. GameFly brings to your house, to you, over eight thousand new releases and classics that are available to rent, or you can buy them for almost every system out there. Current. And some old systems. Like I said, man, I've been trying to put my GameCube back to work for years. Gamefly is giving me an excuse to do that. And you can even try 30 days for free 
by typing in gameflyoffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you do that, you, you'll get 30 days for free of games and movies. Get all those things, all of them at once. Just stay in the house. Don't go nowhere because they're all going to get brought right to your mailbox. You can also bring the element of surprise every month to your home in the form of a Loot Crate mystery box. In that box, I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you it is the best in geek and gaming gear. Some people say it's like having Comic-Con brought right to your home. You don't have to leave the house for nothing. You're getting all kind of stuff. And everybody likes a little surprise every month. Just a little bit. And here's another surprise for you. You know, if you go to our link, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted, and you type in bridge 10, that's the word bridge in the number 10, you can get 10% off, a 10% discount on your first crate. How's that for a surprise right there? Loot Crate, bring the mystery and the surprise to your mailbox once a month with Loot Crate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.